Hello and welcome to my video on how to preview any CSGO market skin as of right now for absolutely free. Now this this isn't a way to get free skins and play online, show off to other people online. No, this is just previewing the skin you were thinking of buying because at the end of the day you will have to buy the skin if you want it. But if you you're on the fence about a skin, this is a perfect way to try it, I believe. Uh, this will only work offline with bots. This will not work online. I've tried it. It will kick you off like, after a couple minutes if it's enforcing uh, pure. Which 90% of ghost servers now, they're enforcing it, so don't even try. And in this video, I'll show you how to install the Antique Bison skin. Now, a couple programs you're going to need. First, you're going to need Notepad++. Then, you're going to need a file called VTF Shell Extensions. This basically previews the VTF files you're going to edit. I highly suggest it because you can do this. You can just preview it like a regular picture thumbnail. You don't have to open it in VTF Edit uh, every time just to look at the skin. And for Windows 8 users, uh, you can just go right click properties, compatibility, Windows 7. And it'll install just fine, and it'll work just fine. Next, GCF Scape from NEMS Tools. This will allow us to extract the VBK and get the skin files we need. And install any of the redistribu redistributables, blah blah blah, if you need it. And uh, go to CS Go Stash uh, just to see what the gun looks like, what the skin looks like before you even want to install it. Alright, so first we're going to go to our CS Go library. Uh, direct directory indicated over here. C program files, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You can read. And I recommend backing up your original pack 01 dir file. VBK. You can use WinRAR, uh, zip it up, or just move it to another folder. Uh, just even, even though if you lose the original, you can always uh, verify integrity, but that's going to take a while. It's better to just uh, back it up. Now, you're going to double click it or open it with GCF Scape. If you haven't done that option, go to Materials, Models. Weapons and look for customization paint. This is where most of the market skin files are. So you're going to extract that folder. You can just drag and drop it to location desired. I put it on my desktop. And you're going to essentially look for the skin you want. It's what I find most of the most of the skins I s I've used in this folder and the VTF shell extensions really comes in handy uh, if you can't go by file name alone you can see what the skin looks like before you even open it and we're gonna uh, we're gonna install the antique bison or bison as people say uh, but first you're gonna want to go to your materials models weapons V models folder and all these folder names are where the skin files are stored for the model weapon. I suggest uh, making a folder for that uh, exactly as it is in the VBK because if you try to put it anywhere else, uh, you have to edit it, that line, the, uh, where the skin file is pointing to. So, Or I suggest extracting all the, the base skin file folders and just deleting all the files in them so you have that directory but for now just uh, just make the folder name to where that skin file is I don't know if I'm explaining it better but uh, the screen should tell you better and basically you're gonna look for the skin you want copy and paste that skin into the corresponding directory for that weapon Let's look at that uh, MP, that uh, SMG, anti. Now, 
you're gonna name it exactly almost like the original file name so here in this case for the bison it's actually the na file name is just bison now you're gonna right click that VBK edit with notepad plus plus and oh, what am I doing here <laughs> you're gonna look for this line called base texture model weapons V models and the corresponding name of the gun model uh, I recently edited the deagle you're gonna copy just that models weapons V models go to edit find and make sure you have my find settings to that exactly what you see and uh, insert the weapon name at the end find next and it should be the first line you see base texture models V models SMG and you, you see that file name bison that is the actual texture file and we're actually gonna rename it to something like this instead of original bison rename it to Sison and it's this the reason why we're naming it like this is because go doesn't accept uh, it, it, it 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 spits an error if you rename it to anything else longer or shorter and I recommend uh, changing fong to from 1 to 0 because if you don't then the skin's gonna look all shiny in game. So now let's uh, go in game and check it out if it all worked. And there you go. Your very own antique skin for free. Well, just a preview. I uh, hope this little video helped you out. And I hope you don't waste too much money on cases and keys. Because. If you just really want the skin, it is way cheaper just to directly buy it off the market. Now, this obviously won't show things like battle scarred or field tested or fact. It'll sh it'll all show factory new, I assume, because uh, the degradation textures probably are VMT files. And they're not actual texture files, they're, they're, they're edited original texture, I'm not sure. But you'll only see all factory new stuff, presumably. So thank you for watching, I hope this really helped you out, and game on.